is 1216. Under sunny skies, we had 35 degrees on our way to Ohio 42 today. In the newsroom, I'm Dylan Nichols. It's time now for Forever Friday. On the third Friday of each month, we spotlight a dog who needs a home from the Humane Society of Warren County. This week, however, is a special edition of Forever Friday, a double header. <laughs> so here we go. Kayla Wines, canine team leader from the Humane Society, has brought two dogs in with her today. They are brothers, I think. Yes, yeah, yes. they're brothers. And what are their names? Um, Webster and Wilbur. Webster and Wilbur. Um, they are about eight years old. We are guessing they are some type of little poodle mix. Um, Wilbur is blind in one eye, uh, but he still gets around really well. We are trying to find them a home um, together. Um, they love each other, and we definitely we think they're a bonded pair. We would love for them to have a home together. Of course, yeah. yeah. Um, they are sweet as pie. Their favorite place to be is in your lap. Um, <laughs> they have done well with kids that have come to visit. Um, I know they get along with each other. I'm sure small dogs would be probably okay, and I think they'd be okay with cats as well. Um, their adoption fees are 30 apiece. Um, they are not yet neutered, so the adopter would be responsible for that. They can choose to go to a vet of their liking, or they can go through our low-cost spay-neuter program, which would be 105 apiece for the neuter. Right. They look so gentle. Yeah, they are. Yeah. It's Super incredible. sweet guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I read that uh, $80,000 to continue to provide life-saving programs for pets in the community. That's a tall order. How do you guys go about doing that? Uh, we do a lot of fundraisers, uh, a lot of volunteers, a lot of donors. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we rely on, on donors and memberships, help with cost, and, and a lot of fundraising. Right, yeah. yeah. We're always looking for more volunteers to help with events that we, you know, do throughout the year. Always looking for more fosters as well, especially with kitten season coming up. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. So if I want to volunteer, how do I go about doing that? Um, so you, all, we require a volunteer application, pretty simple. Um, we want to know... Um, you know, what your availability is, what you would like to volunteer with, so we can try to set you up with, um, you know, an event that you would like. Um, you can come in and walk dogs, socialize cats. Um, if you want to help with events, we're always looking for that as well. Uh, we just kind of want to see what you want to do with us. So. Do you guys have any upcoming events that you're all excited for? Um, we do have an upcoming event next month. Um, it's the it's a handbag and ladies lunch and barks and bags. And we are actually asking for donations right now if anybody has um, like nice handbags or um, purses, you can drop them by the shelter. Uh, we're open every day but Wednesday from 10 to four. And where's your shelter located? Uh, 1245 Progress Drive here in Front Royal. That's fantastic, that's fantastic. Now I've heard that you guys also have um, animal banks located at local business establishments. I read that on your website. Is that still a thing that's going on? Um, we do. I know that um, Southern States has one. Um, they call us quite often. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think the, um, oh no, I can't think of what it's called, right across from Wendy's, the, oh, oh, I don't know what I'm talking Barn Bureau? About. What is it? The Barn Bureau? Um, no, it's the um, plant place, flower place. Oh, springtime. Springtime, yeah, spring thank you. <laughs> springtime, so yeah. that's another location, and yeah. you can drop off donations there in one of your mm -hmm. boxes. Yep, and you can drop donations off with us anytime you like. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. Well, once again, their names are? Uh, Webster and Wilbur. Webster and Wilbur. They're a poodle mixes. Yes. And they're very gentle and they're very kind. Yes. And I might just take them myself, so you better <laughs> hurry up um, <laughs> to pick up that phone. If you want to see a picture of Wilbur and Webster, it's, uh, you know, you can find one of those on the Humane Society of Warren County's Facebook page, or you can go online to our website at theriver953.com. Just scroll down to the Forever Friday article on our community page. We're also taking video of this whole broadcast right now. I'm looking at Janet, our Woo! social media guru. So if you want to see that, if you want to see what two dogs look like in an FM studio, <laughs> you can find that on our Facebook page. And we might even be able to post that for you on the river953.com as well on the community page article. Kayla, thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you so much. All right. So news at noontime is 1220. Under sunny skies, we have 35 degrees on our way to Ohio, 42. We will have local and national sports from Randy Woodward and investments update from Edward Jones. Also, the Valley Today with Janet Michael and her guest from, from the Virginia Cooperative Page County Extension Office, Nicole Clem. In the newsroom, I'm Dylan Nichols. Time now for a road report update from the Virginia Department of Transportation. Oh my God, you're so tiny and sweet. Oh, I, it's a little I little know, little I know. I was like, eh. Okay, I'm going to Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, look so happy. Oh, yeah. Oh, you shaky boy. Oh, yes. They are so cute. <laughs> 
And they do seem really laid back. Yes. Not, Docile. I mean, typically, yeah, I think of little dogs, I think of yippy dogs. Like, yeah. yeah. And yeah. they haven't made yeah. a sound. Yeah. I no. mean. No, they, they're not very loud dogs, that's for sure. They keep each other company. They're really, really playful and sweet. I mean, they are super laid back. Awesome with kids. Um, we had a youth group in the other night, volunteers, <laughs> and they love the kids. Oh, he's got a bow tie. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want. Okay. Don't get in the corner.